What's up, friend? I'm Madison, and welcome to the Fifth Flamingo. We're gonna do a morning core workout. All you need is you, your body, and some space to move, so let's dive in. With this workout, I really want us to focus on the deep core musculature. So this is more than just ab work. This is us getting into that deep core and really learning how to activate and deep breathe while we're going through these movements. So everything is gonna be down on the mat. So let's lower ourselves down nice and easy onto this mat, back flat on the floor. And we're gonna start with a little bit deep breathing warm up here. So I just want you to take your hands, place them on your belly and inhale in, exhale out, just cleansing little breath there. And on your next inhale, see if you can fill your belly up with air as you breathe in. And on the exhale out, see if you can allow that belly to just come down. Inhale in to fill the belly up. Exhale out. Inhale through your nose, belly rises. Exhale, let it go. Last little breath here, inhale in, exhale it out. Good job. Now bring your hands to a 90 degree position here on the elbow, like field goal. So I'll come up so you can see me. So my arms are doing this. I'm in a field goal position. I'm gonna take an inhale in, reach my arms up overhead and then bring them right back down. So I'm trying to get my hands and my elbows to stay on the ground as much as possible or as close to the ground as we can, but we're not forcing it. I just want us to loosen up the neck and shoulders here. Just try to get some mobility here through the shoulders and the upper body. Because a lot of times when we do core work, it's easy to grip the upper body, easy to tighten the jaw, or just feel a lot of stress and tension in the shoulders and in the neck. So we're just gonna release some of that. And just take your time breathing in. Inhale, arms reach overhead. Exhale, elbows pull back down to that 90 degree bend. One more right here, friend. Good, now pull your right knee into your chest. Left leg goes out long. Give yourself a knee hug here on that right side. Maybe even rocking that knee side to side and then use your left hand. Guide that right knee all the way over to the floor. A little spinal twist here. Reach your right arm out long. Inhale and fill your belly up with air just like we did that first little move. Inhale, fill the belly up with air. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. Let it go. Now let's come back center. Switch sides. Left knee pulls in, right leg drops out long. So here, first thing in the morning, we just wanna wake that body up. Come back to our breath, come back to our body. Little knee hug here with that left leg. Use your right hand, guide that left knee all the way over, drop it onto the floor. Reach your left arm out long palm facing the ceiling. Give me two deep breaths here through the belly. So we inhale in, belly fills up with air. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, let it go. Return the hand back to the body, knee comes back over the chest. Let's go for a double knee hug here. Both knees pull in, rock side to side. Give yourself a little bit of a massage on that lower back. Find your breath one more time, inhaling it in, exhaling it out, and let's get going. Okay, so we're gonna be in a dead book position. My favorite, favorite core move. We have a 90 degree bend here in our knees, and we're gonna reach our arms straight up out of our chest. Now the goal here is to have a flat back. So if you notice any space between your back and the floor, just kind of check in and see if you can scoop your tailbone up and engage through your core, your lower abdomen, and minimize any space. So we don't want any space back there. Okay, so we're just gonna be here. Take your hands, slap them into your thighs, and press your hands to your thighs, your thighs to your hands. So press, here we go, five, four. Visually, nothing's happening, but fight, 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 two, and one, relax. So with that move, visually nothing is happening, but we want to create some opposition with our legs into our hands, our hands into our legs. We are firing and actively engaging that deep core. We're gonna go two more times. Inhale it in, set it up, slap those legs in, exhale out. Here we go, three, two, and one, press. Noticing if there's any shakes, I'm shaking down in my lower core. That's amazing. Find it, you got this, flat back, three, two and one relax we're just priming and setting that core up we're gonna go one more time inhale it in find your breath set this back up hands into legs legs and hands actively engage in three 
two and one press. So that back is flat. Relax your head and neck. Relax your jaw. Notice what shakes are there. Not judging yourself, just noticing them. Hold here, three, two, and one. Knees come into the chest. Wrap your hands around your knees or knees just, or hands just on those knees and just kind of rock it side to side. Just relax and release. Now bring the feet to the floor and those feet are gonna be within wiggle distance. So we would be able to reach those heels if we tried. Knees are hip width apart. We're gonna press our palms into the floor. You're gonna take an inhale in. On the exhale, press into your feet and lift the hips high to the sky. Hold here at the top. Squeeze the booty. Feel the floor beneath you through your feet. Hold here, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower down nice and slow. Pop up quick. Lower down slow, pop up quick. So as soon as your booty touches that floor, we're popping right back up, squeeze the booty at the top. Nice engagement here through the feet, through the top. Nice, you're doing a really good job. Let's go for three more. Three, two, match it with your breath, inhale down. Exhale up, hold at the top for five, four, three, two, and one, all the way down. Good job. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna reach our arms out nice and long to the side, like a Texas T, I'm from Texas, so I gotta give a little shout out to Texas. But we're shaping a T with our upper body. I want you to take your gaze, look to that left palm, just breathe in, and then take your gaze to the right side and just breathe it in. I'm also sneaking in lots of little uh, mobility here through the upper body, because that just feels so good in the morning. And let's go alternating side to side. Look to the left palm, then look to the right. Use your breath and just go one way, inhale. And look the other way, exhale. Just relaxing that body, coming back to our breath. One more each way. And the last one. All right, come back center. We're back into that dead bug position. We're gonna inhale in, flatten out that back. So we're gonna tap the legs to the floor. So keeping that 90 degree bend in the knees, what we're doing is we're tapping heel and then the other heel. Tap and then come back, feeling like you're pulling through core to bring that knee back to its high position. That back stays flat the entire time. And if we notice any shakes, shakes are good. Shakes mean that changes are happening in our body. Our body's adjusting and figuring things out. And so we can celebrate that. Nothing to be ashamed of with the shakes. <laughs> Keep that 90 degree bend in the knees and tap it out. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring those feet back to the floor, palms to the floor again. Heels are within wiggle distance. Knees stay hip width apart. We're not too far out. We're not caving in. Inhale it in, exhale to lift. Come back down nice and slow and then pop up quick. So think about really timing this out. You're in control on the way down and you're thinking power as you come up. So I'm in control, I'm in tune with my body, I pop up power, because we're so strong, right? You're stronger than you know. <sighs> Lower down slow, pop up with control. Good job, here for three more. Three, slow down, power up. Last one, hold at the top, hold here. Feel the floor beneath you. Wiggle the toes a little bit. Make sure those knees are staying about hip width apart. Palms are pressing into the floor. Relax the upper body. Three, two, and one. Let's lower down, pop up for three. Lower down for two. Last one, hold at the top five. Four, three, two, and one. Down and up for two. Hold, three, two, one, and slowly come down as slow, so slow as you can. Really good job. And relax. Bring both knees into the chest. Give yourself a little bit of a knee hug. We have one more round of that dead bug glute bridge sequence, and then we're gonna flip it over for a plank. All right, here for that dead bug. Last time in. So knees are 90 degree bend. We're gonna flatten out the feet. Palms reach out from the chest. So go ahead and flatten that back, scoop the tailbone up, pull your belly button down through the core. Really, really flat, flat back, engage. So we're gonna reach right arm, left leg, reach it out long, flatten out that left foot, squeeze the left booty, pull through core to come back. 
Other side, left arm, right leg. Flatten out right foot, squeeze that right glute. Pull through core to come back. Other side. Flatten out left foot, squeeze left booty. Pull it in. Woo! Let's go. Other side, opposite arm, opposite leg. Squeeze that, that right booty, come back. So we're taking our time here, we're flattening the foot, squeezing that glute of the long leg, then returning back to center. So take your time with this. We're here in the morning first thing, and we're really trying to wake up our body, set our core up to be able to support us all throughout the day. It's not just about having six pack abs, it's about being strong through our core so that we can lift and push and pull and support all of the life things that we do throughout a day, not just in a gym, but in life. Last one. <sighs> Pull it through core, you've got this friend. Beautiful. Feet come down to the floor, straight into those glute bridge lifts. <sighs> so keep the knees hip width apart the whole time. Visually look at your knees right now and start to see, are they coming out? Are they caving in as you lift the hips? And see if you can just pay attention to them and make sure that we're just focusing, keeping them that nice hip distance apart. Both hip points lift the sky. We're squeezing our booty at the top. We have a good quick pace here this time, revving up the body, creating a little bit of heat. Hang with me for five more seconds. Three, two, and one, hold at the top. Now this is our last glute bridge. So let's add some fire to it. You're going to support your body on the left leg and bring that right knee up. Keep that 90 degree bend nice and slow and then lower it back down. March the right leg up, lower it back down. March the left leg up, nice and slow. March the right up. Good, now nice quick marches. Knees not coming up as high, but just lifting slightly. Try to keep both hip points nice and strong, nice and level here at the top. Squeeze the booty of the standing leg. You got this here for three more seconds, two and one. Hips stay nice and level, hold your booty. Squeeze at the top, hold five, four. Breathe, two and one. Lower down nice and slow, slow as you can. Really good job bringing both knees into the chest. Rock it out nice and easy. And then let's flip it over to the side. So we can either rock and roll ourselves up, come to the side, flip it over. We are gonna be here in a tabletop position. So wrist line underneath the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're gonna drop that belly, look up slightly, bring shoulders down and away from the ears, and then tuck. So pull chin into the chest, round through the spine. Just kind of tilt that tailbone in. Breathe it in, and then exhale, drop the belly, look up slightly, bring head or the shoulders down and away from the ears, and then round and roll. Rounding through that upper spine, tucking the tailbone, tucking chin into the chest. One more each way. We're just stretching out some of that core. And then round and roll. Good, now let's walk ourselves out a bit. We're gonna stay on our knees, our wrist line underneath our shoulders. We're here in a plank position, just pinned down on the knees. Now even no matter where we are in our fitness journey, I just want us to start here and check in with our form. So we're squeezing the booty, we're pressing the hands into the mat, and we're rounding through the upper body through the shoulder blades. So you'll notice my shoulder blades are rounded. Find your breath. I'm already getting a little shaky here. Squeeze that booty. By squeezing the booty, we're activating our core that much more. Hold here, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax and press yourself into a child's pose. Knees wider than the hips, reach those arms out nice and long. Walk your hands to the left. You feel a nice stretch through the right side body, the right armpit, the right lat, and then reach your arms to the right. Same thing, you're gonna feel this through that left lat, that left armpit, left side body. Find your breath. Come back center. Now let's check in with that belly breath. So remember from the very first move we did, inhale, see if you can fill your belly up with air. Exhale, release. Inhale fills the belly up. Exhale, let it go, friend. One more breath just like that. And then let it go. Round and roll. Bring yourself right back into that plank with the knees down. So we're squeezing the booty, pressing the hands into the mat. As we press hands into the mat, we're rounding through those shoulder blades. 
You can relax the feet flat on the mat or tuck the toes in, whatever feels better to you. I like to tuck my toes because I get a little stretch through my big toe and that feels good. Find your breath. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lower down onto the right elbow, lower down onto the left elbow. Come back up on right hand. Come back on the left hand. Same thing, drop the right elbow, drop the left. Come up on the right hand, come up on the left hand. Hold here. So now we're gonna tap four shoulder taps. Left hand to right elbow, or right shoulder. Right hand to left shoulder. Tap and alternate. Final one, coming down. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Four shoulder taps. Two, three, four. One more time, all the way through this. Keep that booty squeeze. Dropping to the elbows, come back to the hands, four shoulder taps. Try to keep your body nice and stable here. Woo, and then hold. Now lift the knees up off the floor. Rock forwards and backwards ever so slightly. Same posture. Squeeze that booty, press through the shoulder blades. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit of a sweat going on. Rocking a little bit over the wrist lines and then back into those heels. Hang with me, five, four, three, two, and one, knees come down underneath those hips and give yourself a few little hip circles here. It's kind of stretching out the booty, stretching out the hips, and then alternate, go the other way. We're gonna finish right here in a bird dog, one of the best core moves. So I want you just to start with the arms. So check in form first. Let's go knees under hips, wrist line under the shoulders. Press your hands into the mat so the shoulders have a little bit of a round to them. We're rounding through those shoulder blades. Find your breath, exhale it out. Reach the right arm past the right ear, nice and long, keeping that back flat. Hand comes back down, same thing on the left arm. Reach it past the ear, nice and long. Let's alternate with just the hands first. So we're just checking in with form. This will feel probably pretty easy. And even if it feels difficult, it's totally cool too. We're here, we're here together. Both are good. All right, now same thing with the legs. We're reaching the right, out, right leg out long and try to squeeze that right booty, flex that right foot, flat back, hold for a moment and then bring right knee back underneath the hips. Same thing, left leg reaches out long, flatten out that left foot, squeeze that left booty. Same thing we did in dead bug, come back. Two more each way, right leg kicks out long, flatten the foot, flat through the back, flat through the hips, and come back. Left leg long, flatten out the foot, squeeze that left glute, come right back. One more each way. You've got this, friend. You're doing a really good job. Stay active through the hands, active through the shoulder blades, rounding through those shoulder blades, good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate in a circle. So right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, right arm, left arm. So we're just going in that circle and I want you to take your time. So we're not moving quick, we're moving with control. We're moving with intention. We're finding our flow, what feels good in your body today, knowing that we all feel something different today. And that's totally fine, that's totally good. Just move into it. One more time through all of this. Find it for you. Find that breath, find your flow. Beautiful. Now knees come out wide into that child's pose. If it feels good, you can flip your palms up towards the sky and get a deeper stretch here through the arms. Find that breath, inhale it in, exhale it out. One more breath here, let it go. All right, round and roll yourself back into that tabletop. We're gonna reach now right arm, Reach it past the head, left leg out long, flatten out that foot, squeeze the left booty, inhale here, and then exhale, let's bring elbow to knee underneath the body, round and roll through the top. Reach it out long, flat back, round and roll, tuck it in. So it's almost like the cat cow that we did. We're gonna go out nice and long, then we round. So we're not arching here, not like the cat cow, but we are rounding like that cat cow. Press through the hands, strong through the hands. Nice and stable here, squeeze that booty. We have one more on this side. Woo, let's go friend, you got this. Good, come back down. Find your, 
Form first, wrists under shoulders, press through the hands. All right, lift it out long, left arm, right leg. Squeeze that right foot, squeeze that booty, or flat foot through the right foot. <laughs> All right, nice and long here, flat back. Actively engage. Knee connects to the elbow underneath. We round and roll. <sighs> Find it. You're doing a really good job. This is our last little move. <sighs> Hang with me. <sighs> so we stick it. We stick it out nice and long. We come in, round and roll. Stick it. <sighs> Finding that deep core. Flow here. Find your breath. Three, two, last one. Good. All right, come back down into that child's pose. Find your breath. Inhale in, fill the belly up with air. Exhale it out. Inhale fills the belly. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. Exhale, let it go. Round and roll yourself through, through to plank. Drop the hips, look up towards the sky slightly. Stretch out through the upper body. Take your breath and gaze over that right shoulder and then towards the left. Good, if it feels good, send yourself into a pike position. Walk your dog, bending one knee after the other. Breathe it in and either walk the hands to the feet or the feet to the hands. And stay in this little forward fold for a moment, bending at the knees. Inhale it in, exhale, slow roll, come up. Good, just a few little shoulder rolls here at the top. Just start to add some movement to it a little bit, maybe a little bit of a golfer swing. Just kind of wake that body up, take up space, get nice and tall. And Fred, that is our workout. Thank you so much for starting your morning with me. I hope this helped you just check in with that core so that you feel so strong and so empowered throughout the rest of your day. I'm signing off and sending you so much love. Thank you for moving with me. And if you loved this workout, you'll love our whole on-demand platform that we have. It's called Feel Good Monthly. And we upload new full-length videos just like this one to it every single month. We got movement like this, hit workouts, guided walks, guided breath work, and journal prompts, and even food freedom training. So check it out. I'll leave all of the links below for you. And I'm sending you so much love. Thanks for moving with us, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, friend.